want to take your big heavy sketchbook with you, but you do want to take a sketchbook. So you could take a little portable sketchbook. And this is with a piece of paper like this. I've got an A3 piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half. If you are watching and you are one of my students who's done this, you'll be going, oh, yeah, 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 we know this one. <laughs> I'm going to fold it and really kind of make that crease very sharp. So I'm going to fold it back on itself now and do it the same the other way. So it folds easily in both ways. It's a little bit like origami. And then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it again in half like this. Sophie, you should be doing this along with me, shouldn't you, really? <laughs> And again, make that crease really, really, you know, so that it's very, very um, uh, crease. You can run your uh, fingernail down it if you've got a, if you've got a fingernail. Um, I know teachers don't have long fingernails because we work, we work so hard, don't we? <laughs> and then fold it back on itself again and do the same again. So it's really, really flexible piece of paper. It bends both ways easily. Now I'm going to hold it up portrait style, which I always sort of think is um, word took uh, off us, didn't they? Portrait and landscape. It's actually an art term, folks. <laughs> and I'm putting my scissors now and I'm going to cut half up from center line to the middle. So now what I've got is like a piece of paper looks like a pair of baggy trousers there. Okay, so now I'm going to fold my paper, the top half, over the flappy bits at the bottom. So it's like, like that. I've got the flaps on the, towards me. And then I'm going to fold it again away from myself. So now I've got the two flaps on the top side and it looks like a bird. <laughs> then the last thing you do is flip one of those flaps right over the top. So then you have a perfect little book with one, two, three, four, five, six pages. Wow. How is that? Isn't that absolutely lovely? Very good. Very good. Very yeah so it's really really great to do that if you're going on a trip somewhere and you want the children to do some sketching on your trip and um, like i say you don't want to take heavy stuff with you that can just kind of easily fit into your lunch box can't it with a few sort of pencils and things so that's a really really nice thing to do i will just tell you that every single time i do this one of the students always says oh gosh i've done it wrong because one of my pages is stuck together and then I have to say, well, what would happen if it wasn't stuck together? And they go, oh, yeah, it would all fall to bits. That's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> it's it's very yeah. lovely. It really is. What? The quickest one the quickest that you could make, isn't it? It's so quick and so great. And you can use that, you know, start in the nursery using sketchbooks with children. Of course, it doesn't actually have to even be a book, does it? You could just use, you know, get some little bags. Not this one. This is from Whiskey and Co. But <laughs> you would have that, of course. You'd have, you know, but you could have get some little, um, you know, little uh, bags for children and just put the put their, you know, things that they collect and mm -hmm. drawings in their own little bag. How lovely would that be? Oh my God, I want that. <laughs> You can even cut little kind of cardboard oh. labels, mm -hmm. a hole in them, oh, put a little, lovely. little ribbon or um, or hessian or even you know a, even a pipe cleaner. You know you could just stick that through just to keep them together, and then you've got a nice little. And then you know draw. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I so guess you could use things. scraps, can't you, as well? You've got your labels, but in fact, you could easily just be using scraps of paper to absolutely together. Absolutely. So all different types of paper. I mean, even patterned paper or um, wallpaper, you know, you can cut it and, you know, with a little hole punch or something, get some cardboard 
like you know i'm sure everybody's got those amazon packets that come mm. with all of those yeah. that was great to use just as the covers wouldn't it mm -hmm. and you know, tie tie that together with some ribbon or something and Bob's your uncle you've got yes a beautiful sketchbook yeah. and also when you're filling up your sketchbook what amazing display that's going to be as well with the children's own handmade sketchbooks and all their beautiful work inside it mm -hmm. so my little demonstration oh, I hope it's lovely. <laughs>